Hi everyone, now two major exams are over that is you have appeared for IP Met Rothak and on Sunday we had this JIP Mat. Uh, this year around 8500 candidates appeared for JIP Mat and IAM Jammu had in increased the intake so now they take 120 candidates. So that's a good news. So we have both Gaya with 120 seats and Jammu with 120 seats. These are the two IAMs that takes admission through this uh, JIPMAT examination. And if you're uh, appeared for this examination, let's discuss how the paper was, what was the difficulty level, what could be the cutoff, and what you can expect uh, from this paper. Now, uh, starting with uh, the what the pattern has been uh, over the few last few years, ever since JIPMAT started, JIPMAT is a relatively a new examination that started in uh, 2021. So 2021 was the first JIPMAT paper that was of certain type. Uh, 2022 was uh, slightly different and 2023 was also slightly different uh, in its uh, way of presenting questions. However, uh, more or less uh, uh, it followed the same pattern. Uh, there were no surprises in the uh, strict pattern that is to say there were three sections, one of quant, one of logical, one of verbal ability. Uh, there were 100 questions of uh, 4 marks each and there was a negative marking of 1 mark. This year in 2023 the difficulty level of JIPMAT could be considered from easy to moderate and more inclined towards the moderate side like uh, when we were discussing uh, IPMAT Rothak we said it is very easy. Not only easy we use the word very easy but that cannot be said for this year's JIPMAT. It was definitely not as easy as IP Met Rohtak that you appeared last week. Uh, it was uh, uh, relatively uh, harder, relatively tough. So we can uh, put it in the range of easy to moderate. Some candidates might find uh, some of the sections easy. However, uh, some candidates might find hard also. So uh, easy to moderate is the section we are putting it in. And out of 400 questions, uh, 400 uh, marks, the expected cutoff that is uh, uh, expected this year is around 310 to 330 so based on the discussions that we have about uh, the kind of uh, a turnout we have as far as uh, the number of questions the candidates attempted the number of right questions they are expecting and uh, uh, overall uh, the cutoff uh, is expected to be in this range it won't be it could be higher but uh, not much lower uh, I would say uh, then we have uh, talking about the section wise analysis we had the uh, quantitative ability uh, the first section uh, which uh, was again easy to moderate uh, not very easy there was a few uh, tricky questions there were and also this was a bit on a lengthier side uh, because there were some questions uh, uh, that, that was uh, there the were statement based question statements were given and uh, several concepts were involved in that statement so there were a few tricky questions and it was a bit on the lengthier side. Uh, talking about the topics, there were three questions from number system, two questions from set, one question from simplification, one from profit and loss that had the uh, concept of uh, CI involved, compound interest involved. Then there were uh, expected questions like ratio, average, uh, function, mean, median, mode, time, speed. Uh, there was also a question on this uh, boat and uh, the, the upstream and downstream of boat uh, that, that was also present. There were questions from geometry, trigonometry. Uh, the surprise element that we can uh, say in this section was the same that I mentioned that these statement based uh, questions uh, around 15 to 20 questions were the statement based questions that could be said as the uh, this uh, little bit surprise element. Uh, data interpretation had concepts of geometry, mensuration and algebra. So out of the 33 questions uh, from quantitative ability, a good attempt in this, in this section based on the difficulty level and all the other factors could be something in the range of 25 to 28. So if you have attempted like 25 to 28 uh, questions with a uh, accuracy rate of say 90%, then that's a good attempt for this section. Talking about the next section, there is logical reasoning, again doable, uh, not many surprises, expected uh, section. Uh, there were three sets of uh, data interpretation uh, comprising of one pie chart and two in the tabular form. 
so uh, one thing uh, that uh, surprised candidate was there was a question on pure arithmetic type which is usually not expected in logical reasoning section it should it, it had it, its proper place in the di sec uh, in the quant section but it was present here which was about this uh, time speed and distance uh, there was uh, a co question on coding and decoding which was slightly uh, harder and there were questions on missing numbers uh, there were uh, two three questions from clocks and calendars three questions from number series and at least one question from critical reasoning so critical reasoning also uh, was present uh, talking about logical reasoning uh, in the the good attempt since it was relatively easier compared to the quant section a uh, good attempt could be in the range of 28 to 30 out of the 33 questions that were present here uh, then uh, coming to the last section which was verbal ability again this was the easiest of the three sections questions were expected questions were doable uh, the the uh, the questions on world meaning synonyms antonyms however uh, some words were a bit uh, rare in the sense you might not have come across had you not been practicing your vocabulary very well uh, so some candidates could have uh, found some surprises in uh, the the if you did not know the meaning uh, however overall the section was quite easy quite doable uh, there were reading comprehension passages there were fact based questions there were para jumbles there was uh, items and phrases verbs narration voices so a good uh, attempt in this section could be uh, something uh, around 30 uh, 30 could be uh, the good attempt and uh, talk, as i already mentioned they're talking about the expected cutoff of the overall paper uh, that could be in the range of 310 out of 330 so with this uh, uh, hope for the best uh, uh, the results for uh, rohtak should be out very soon uh, let's uh, let's see when uh, they uh, release their result as far as JIPMAT is concerned and most importantly you have IAM uh, IPMAT Indoor coming up on 16th June that is something that will be the data mining factor where you have to compete with the maximum number of candidates and let's see the difficulty level based on uh, you have had uh, two difficulty levels one very easy one easy to moderate now get ready for whatever is in store as far as Indoor is concerned which is one of the most preferred examination in this range so uh, all the best uh, thank you so much uh, hope uh, you make it to the final list and you get into the iem of your choice till then uh, see you in the next session with more set of videos and please subscribe to this channel subscribe to this channel and share it with your friends uh, so that they get to know about all the updates that we keep uploading regarding integrated programming management important notifications analysis uh, important uh, academic videos uh, uh, some trips uh, tricks and techniques all the things we keep sharing on this channel so please subscribe to this channel thank you so much all the best goodbye